What's up guys, Aaron Benjamin here for another video and as usual I'm here with my good friend Ty and guys quick shout out we hit a thousand subscribers I think by now we're already over a thousand but man thank you so much seriously genuinely thank you so much guys I originally started this channel with the motivation of my coach and instructor Bernardo Freya who told me that you know I'm a good instructor I should put some content out there I followed what he said. People have come up to me when I've taught the classes here and said, man, that one detail really helped me. So my goal was very simple. I was like, man, if one person told me that one detail helped their jujitsu and helped their perception on it, then if I help one other person by putting these videos out there, I'll be super stoked. And I've had so many messages, so many comments, so many people on Reddit, the BJ Fanatics group, all over the place messaging me and telling me that they really like the content and it shows because we hit a thousand subscribers. So seriously thank you so much but enough of the mumbo jumbo lately on my channel we've been focusing a lot on passing the X guard and the single leg X guard so today I'm gonna show one of my favorite attacks versus the seated guard and single leg X guard and that is a rolling Kimura we're gonna break down a couple of the principles of the rolling Kimura because normally I make a basics and control principles but this is kinda be a one-shot video and I might refer you guys back to it if you miss any of my other single leg X passing videos I'll link them in the description I made one video on passing single leg X which showed like my three favorite passes so that's going to be in the description. A couple on leg pummeling and some other things but without further ado, enough talking, let's get into it. So guys, uh, let's sit right here. So guys, anytime you're fighting somebody in the seated guard position and they scoot in aggressively, the rolling Kimura is a very, very good option. Not only can you pass their guard, you may end up taking their back and you may ultimately end up submitting them. So it's a really good attack also because of the versatility. You're able to utilize it in both gi and no gi. So the move happens, let's actually turn this way. The move happens when the guy's coming in and trying to get shin to shin, right? I know what he's trying to do, right? He's trying to get me into single leg X. Most likely, he may be trying to, to sweep me. So my first order of action is to try to attack this arm if I feel like he's gonna pull me. I've made a leg pumping video on getting out of here, which genuinely is what I do more often, but I do shoot this rolling Kimura a lot if I see the opportunity. What's the opportunity? The opportunity is this hand on the mat. A good guy in single leg X, and when I taught single leg X bottom, will keep his elbow super tight to his ribs, and he'll be super, super tight like this. Even if he extends me a lot here, I might go for it. But the main opportunity I go for is when he puts his hand on the floor. If he puts his hand on the floor, that's a critical error. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to roll, and I'm not going to try to get the Kimura here, right? I'm not going to lean over him and try to get the Kimura. That's unrealistic expectations. That's why I have to be able to capitalize on the transition. When you're drilling this movement, it's important for you guys to move your partner's head out of the way just for the sake of drilling. When you do it competitively, it's not so important, but I don't want you guys to hit your hip on their head. I've seen some terrible accidents where the guy rolls and he doesn't have a good forward roll and his hip nails his partner's head. So I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna move Ty's head for now, I'll do it with his head there in a second. And then look, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab his wrist with a monkey paw or with your thumb in, whatever you want, sometimes I alternate, and I'm gonna do a forward roll. But I have to do a forward roll and make sure to clear my legs. So I'll show you what I do. So I'm here, I grab his wrist, as I roll in the transition my arm comes inside underneath his armpit like so. So I'm here and here. Okay, so I locked up my Kimura grip. Now how do I finish this position? So what I need to do now is push the palm of Ty's hand to his belt. I want to extend it like so. Now as I do so, I have to turn onto my hip like this, right? As I turn onto my hip, what I do next depends on my partner's reaction. So for example, the most common reaction is for Ty to turn into his arm, just like this. If he turns into his arm, I swing my knee underneath his ribs and my hook comes in, 
Right, so let's do it from here. So I'm here, he really tries to get up. And I swing myself in. Do you see how my knee is in? That's very important, guys. If I lose this battle, I might lose the position. So if my knee is here, I might lose the position. Right, so I wanna get my knee underneath. And I even make like a hook behind his hip. Right, keeping everything tight. My other hook comes in. Now look, guys, also an important detail. My elbow is gonna come in front of his face. I don't want my elbow forward. Ty might start to pull my arm. Yes, like this, guys. This can be kind of an issue, right? I wanna be able to separate myself. So I wanna be here. Now, at this point, guys, I have a lot of options still. I can hug his arm to me and dig the seatbelt and then control his wrist. Like in Dana Hare's back system, he controls the hand here. And then I roll, push the wrist, and throw the hook over and start to attack the neck. I can also, right if I'm here, I can maintain the Kimura grip. I can roll him this way, throw the hook in now, and then pull myself to him, and still control the wrist, and block it. What we do from there is gonna differentiate uh, person to person. It depends on what your strengths are, right? There's so many options, I'm not even gonna go over all of them. You have crucifix options, you have triangle options, you have basic Kimura options arm bar options. I try to generally focus on the back take, but if the guy's being stubborn and doesn't want to give me the back take, then I get up and I accept the guard pass. So let's look at it again from the seated guard. So we're here, my partner's scooting in aggressively. I grab his wrist, I roll, and I come here. Right away, I pin the wrist, he starts to get up. I circle in. Guys, first order action, let's get that knee in. Hook comes inside, and now maybe I undo here, Maybe I grab the neck, maybe I grab the lapel, I pull his arm to me, I roll my hip, right? So look what I'm doing here, guys. I'm on my right hip, I'm gonna go to my left hip, and as I do so, I'm gonna scoop my hip down with my foot, I'm gonna grab his wrist, pin it down to his belt, lock over, pull my hand out, I can go palm to palm choke, I can go bow and arrow, I can start to look for the reverse triangle, you guys have a lot of options. So let's do it one more time. So he's here, he scoots in, boom, I see his hand. Maybe if I even catch his wrist as he goes to grab my leg, like this, then I roll through, and I get here. If he doesn't get up, I just push his arm to him, and then I get up, and maybe I attack the Kimura, right? Bunch of different options. So, the next position we're gonna look at this from, it's from a full single leg X. So this time my partner was here, he pulled me into single leg X, and I'm here. So guys, one, let's move back a little, because I'm gonna roll off camera. So once again, guys, I have good base in this position, right? I don't have heel exposure, right? So check out my single leg X video on passing if you miss this. I'm gonna peel the hook still, just like this. Guys, if I'm able to, or if he gives it to me, sometimes their hand is hanging freely here, or maybe he's trying to grab my pants or my ankle. Guys, if he's here, I peel his ankle grip, put his hand on the floor, and I roll through. As I roll, I lift his hand up to make space, like so. Here. Now we're in the same position, guys. So let's look at it again. So I'm here, right, in single leg X, I have good base, maybe he grabs my ankle, right, I peel this hook, I come here, I peel this ankle grip, and then I roll. I always make sure to clear these legs, guys. I want to roll so that him and I are almost in a 180 degree angle. I don't want to stop my roll short right here. All right, I want to roll so that my legs are nowhere near him. So one more time from the other side. So he has single leg X, right? He's here like this. I peel, I grab the wrist. I have to move. Once I peel the hook, if I roll, big, big pointer here, guys. If I roll with this hook and he's looking for my ankle, he might go belly down with it. I cannot roll with this here. I have to peel and I have to roll. Right? So if you just roll and he recomposes that hook very quickly, it could pose a problem. So bear that in mind and know that no technique is perfect. But most of the times you surprise your opponent with this move and you do it really quickly. I actually 
started doing this move because my favorite guard is single leg X and while playing single leg X I got destroyed by a friend of mine who just kept rolling Kimura me, rolling Kimura me, rolling Kimura. So it's something that I knew was effective because I had never really encountered it. I think I was a blue or purple belt and he destroyed me with it. So it was something that right after that I corrected the mistakes from bottom and then I implemented them from top. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this content. Once again, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and thank you so much for getting to a thousand subscribers. You guys rock. Oh, guys.